we're going to try and get all that render off and get that lintel taken out and replaced with that keystone. Oh yeah, there you are, 2.4, 2400. And there's our lintel. Look at that. Yep. Fire and hole. It, it, it would have missed. Look at it stuck in. <laughs> right, it's um, Thursday the 2nd, 2nd of September. Uh, autumn's here. There's Alex. We're back at this job, the lintel job we did. This lintel job all finished. And I've been doing some repointing. We've ground out up to the lintel height. Got that pointed yesterday. Still got down here to do. And all this section here. But Alex is with me today to get this lintel done. That lintel up there where he is. We're going to try and get all that render off and get that lintel taken out and replaced with that. There you are, 2.4, 2400. <clears throat> That's today's job. And then this afternoon we'll take the echoes back and try and find some bricks to match the back of the house, which we're struggling with because it's an extension and it's a 65 mil. So another nightmare brick match. But um, yeah, this is today. We're going to cut out a couple of slots below the scaffold and put a strong boys in the wall like we do normally so we can prop above. There's not a lot to prop above but um, we've still got to prop it. So we'll um, get up there and get cracking. <laughs> has been relocated to there from there. Bottom bit came out pretty easy because the lintel started to rust so obviously it's moved it a bit but this top bit was an absolute nightmare to get off. It's weird, brick and edge. So if that's if that's right the brick and edge then these ones are gonna come out nice and easy because the grind will go right through. We just need to tooth out for the uh, for the lintel seating and the cavity tray. We already have a good cavity tray in. The one downstairs is okay, so we'll just utilize that and um, customize it as we need to. There you can see the, there's the lintel. It's funny because it's rusted under the cavity tray. But um, anyway, yeah, so tips for when you've got a rusted lintel crack here at the side of your window cracking and orange stains on your windows is, is an absolute guaranteed sign you've got rust because the rust runs down the window and stains it you can see it there on that trim yeah so this is part of my um, tip video for how to tell you if you need a new lintel or not I'll be putting that out soon yeah so it's all off for break time anyway Alex is doing a bit of patching around the back, which we need to sort the bricks out for. And then it's a tad bit time. Let's get these acros put in and get this knocked out. After a brew. Right, brew time over. I'm going to get on these two planks now and get us two holes ground out for the acros and the strong boys to go on. So we'll do that now.
That was bloody hairy. Oh, here's Alex with the next one. Let's get it off him. Now, let's speak to Russ Allen from Gloucester. Good morning, Hi. Russ. Good morning, Tim. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? Uh, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Simple. Um, you have a big here. Yeah? Um, how many years did you do there? Yeah. Which American singer? No, his original version of a song that became a 1960. Opposing the score, that 27, scored by Neil Bergen Farragher of Liverpool, so eight and two, so well done, now you're at 27. And now a three and ten would just be the top of the Yankee Shower the Ice, 2002, Kiss My Uh Oh. Yes, yes, oh, my yes, yes, you got the three feet. There we go, we're propped. There's not exactly a lot of weight on top of this one. But we've got the acros in, down onto the strong boys there. Which are fixed in the wall. I keep meaning to try those expansion things that um, Tim Margerson keeps telling us about. But I think if we're using them here, they just push the brickwork off. They're designed to um, put pressure on the brickwork so it won't drop, but with this being top of the pike, it'll just push it over, I think. So this will have to do. So we have, um, it is brick on edge, so these are going to come out quite easy now. They're all loose. So let's get this all out, get this lintel back in. Good tray, nice good lintel to get a truck out and you damp into there just to give it a bit extra. Uh, yeah, so you see the lintel's not too bad, it's only really. on four inch, but it's protected under it. And it will you wait my along towards the side of the house, and it starts to get a bit nasty. Look at that. So let's get this other end out and we can start getting ourselves organised.
How's the tray? Hey. How's the tray? This is cracking, Nick. Yeah. Yeah. How's the lens underneath? Not so good. Right. How's it been damaged? Then? The tray's good. What? Oh, is the water getting in somehow then? The water must have been coming down, just running back under. Right. Mashed underneath, look. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you should be loose. Don't want you to snap. Save a saw hey. hey. Save a saw do you reckon? Yeah. There we go, we're out, ready for our lint to go back. All sorted. The tree's a bit short that end, it's a bit long that end, it's still attached. We'll just cut it off there for our upstand. And here's our lint up. Look at that. So that's been doing the damage, that's why the uh, rust's here. This is what it's mainly. Even this end, not too bad, but it's definitely ready for a replacement before this gets rendered. Otherwise, you, you're entering it twice then, because it's, it's 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 on its way out. So let's get get this down, get the new one up, and get it all packed up, ready to go. We can actually reuse the tray that's in. We don't have to replace that or change it in any way. I might just pull a little piece, extend it there. Multi tool and tuck tack it in underneath there. Get an upstand on there. That's, that's brilliant, that's well. Very rare we can use the, we use the tray again, but that's in perfect condition. Right, let's get this lintel out.
big bruises out. Well, Alex, that's longer than the, that first lift, isn't it? Um, so when I drop it, it's going to fall, isn't it? It's going to fall against the tube. Uh, I should imagine so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that, that, whatever that is, is not coming off. We've tried everything to get off, so we've given up, left it on. And as you can see, down your end, lovely condition. You've only stayed like that. Work your way up towards, which is towards the middle of the house. And it's like, it's probably five, seven, eight mil. It's bubbling up. And that was underneath the cavity tray, which is weird. The tray came over the top of that and then it's, it's gone underneath. Yeah, so it's knackered. So before um, Craig gets his plastering to redo this, okay, render it, we're going to um, get this new one in. Do it all nice and safe. So this is going down there. It's going the easy way. Just going to try and get it down here. Ready? Okay. Yep. Far and hold. It, it, it would have missed. Look at it stuck in. <laughs> right, let's get the other one up now. A bit lighter. Let's get all the tools out of the way. If you slide it up the ladder, I can just take it off you. Yeah? I was going to give me feedback. Did you saw them off? Hey? Did you saw them off? I did. When are you going to open properly? I did. What did they have to say? I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear them. He said, um, he said, I totally agree with you, mate, but it's out of my hands. It's not, it's not me, my decision. But obviously, he's the same. It must be frustrating for them as well. Yeah. Kissing them all the time. So, what's the news on the bricks? He said, come in, ask for Craig, and I'll sort them out for you. Is that today? Yeah. Good. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. 
so then I'll apologise to me when I see him face to face. Just say, uh, sorry for the little ramp, but you understand it's very frustrating. I'm not out of order saying that, am I? I wasn't rude. R3, but we've got to go off to Wigan now to the brick store to try and source these bricks. I've had trouble getting all of them today, so there we go. Brick work reinstated, block work in. You'll notice the block work steps back there. The reason being, um, this has been built with brick on edge, so obviously it's either 75 or 85 mil. So there's no way I could get the lintel back far enough to build it to build it like that in 100 mil block but um there's still there's still plenty for the k rend this just this just need building out level um yeah plaster's got an easy job because uh we've knocked all the crap off for it the skip's going tomorrow so we, we did that while the skip was here yeah um wheat vents are in loose so that the uh it, whoever renders it can put them in position and then cut them off. There's a spider moving in already. It's only been in an hour. Yep, yeah, and that one's uh, that one's got a normal vent in it. That's got a tray up stand on it. This end hasn't. The reason being we'd have had to take more brickwork out, which we couldn't get at to take out. So we couldn't put an up stand on it, but I'm not bothered about that. It's not going to come to any harm under this. What is it? 300 mil nearly facing board, soffit. It's tucked right underneath. It's never going to get any water in there. So um, I'm quite happy with that. Set the way it's turned out. First fence in there. And there's, the tray goes right to there. We've extended the tray past the lintel. So everything's all, all sorted. Your mum's down there somewhere. Just tidying up before we go. And then we're back tomorrow. So I'm going to carry on with the pointing tomorrow and Alex is going to go around the back do the patching and have a good tidy up. Windows need cleaning, we need a trim going on the windows which uh, I think Craig's got in the garage. Definitely got one for that window. There he is. So he's knocked out for, for tomorrow's job. A couple more bricks to take out, yep we're going to set a scaffold up around there.
was about to ask if you went in. I'll take you to my bit. Right, I think it's time I show my work. So if you recap what I was doing yesterday or last video, however died out it's this, I have no idea. Um, I was taking out that botched job of a patch up and uh, fixing it. There's the result. The bricks aren't exactly the uh, aren't the perfect match, but in terms of colour and size, this is the best we could possibly do. So we had to uh, make do with what we've got. But it's not uh, it's not the worst. I mean, it doesn't look how it did before. That's the that's the important thing, right? Um, we're going to reseal it up later, but um, for the most part, that's done, and I'm pleased with it at least. Uh, my dad did the buff brick for me he went up there and did that while I was doing that so he got that in perfect colour match but again discontinued brick very hard to find and here my dad raked out the the cracks in the joints so I repointed them up and me and him took out these bricks these ones had a uh, drill hole in it so it was all just full of mortar and a uh, and uh, expander foam so I've uh, patched it up with two existing bricks so they, uh, they're they a perfect match and this one I again there was a drill hole so I've replaced it with one of our bricks that we used over there so blends in a bit better with the uh, rest of it I feel and um, yeah I think it uh, fits alright at least and then I've pointed all the way to the bottom, pointed the vents. So that's my job done. I've tidied it up as well. All that's been done. So uh, that's me done. Um, don't know if Dad's going to do a outro for this or not, but um, if not, I'll 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 do the honors. Take his word for it. I'm just trying to do a uh, like, comment, and subscribe thing. Smash the like button. Um, comment, good or bad. Sometimes I have a laugh at the bad ones. And click the bell. Might do it. I put a bell sound effect in there. Yeah, I can find one. There you go. From the from the man himself. Well, thank you very much. And uh, see you in the next section of the video. I've no, I've no idea how we edit these. So until next time. Right, Saturday afternoon. Just finished now. Uh, been on my own today because it's pointing. So I've finished. Well, basically all the brown's been pointed today. Apart from a tiny bit, so under the window, under the block work. Down each side. All tidied up and I've been up to the top there put the trim above the window and then same here I think it's 45 mil D so put it on both windows all sealed up ready to go so that's me done so this is a, like a second outro because Alex has already done one so you get two outros for the price of one so um, yeah don't forget to all the good stuff like comment subscribe Follow us on Instagram and all that stuff. So we'll uh, see you on the next one. And repatch and um, put in more in quality brick in. I've just talked a lot of nonsense. I don't even know what I've said. I'm going to redo this.